The moment you start obeying God in his word and the whispers that come from his spirit, then you will know that God doesn't need to speak loud for you to understand it. No. He will register his displeasure quietly. And only a heart that is ready to obey him can perceive it. Yeah. So I was in that cave. Where I, I yielded to be in alignment. Oh my God. That was when I discovered how much God wants to be in charge. Then I knew what the scripture meant when it says that God is a jealous God. Oh, you give yourself to other things. You should Premier League, Champions League. You are jumping everywhere. But he, he wants that time. But you didn't know. And there's nothing wrong, sinful about being hooked on Premier League. I played soccer myself. I was on, I, I, I wore the number 10 jersey. Then I realized I could only use my right. And I knew I would not go far in this business. So I came up. <laughs> I came up. <laughs> I could only use the right leg. leg. Left leg was paralyzed, was dead. It could, I couldn't move it. Even if I desired, it would just be dead. So I knew I, I can't prosper on the field with this kind of deficiency when i began to go deep in him you know the first thing he said i should stop stop watching football what what's wrong with football he will never answer i think you say you want to obey me for you i am so till today i've not been able to find what football would have done to me because I obeyed. Do you understand that? And that's not for you. I'm not telling you. I'm telling you my own dealings with God. And it's not a doctrine. Oh, you are not with me. It's not a doctrine. I'm just telling you how God dealt, dealt with me. For you, he might allow you to watch football. But not for me. Do you understand that? Obeying him. So leave football away. Leave it alone. So I left it. I died, but I left it. And then gradually he began to take away the desire for football away. He took it. Began to suck it out. And now, I don't even like football. Somebody said, come, come. See, the best players are on the field. It was bored. I was like, I was sick. Then I knew God had wrought a miracle on my heart. We were in Manchester the other day. And they said they had a match. And I didn't desire to be... In Etihad Stadium, God had walked a walk. You need to know me about football, man. He took it away. And there are many things that will take away from your life. And only those that are willing to make him king can submit to that extent. When he has achieved what he wants to achieve, then he makes you his messenger. He puts things on your life that money cannot buy. Oh my God. Oh my God. The second thing he emphasized was that I should never ignore my wife. That is me. Maybe not you, but me. Don't ignore. That was when I discovered that if I had disharmony, because it is possible for me to survive with disharmony. It's possible. Yes. When I was born, my mom was sick. So even as an infant, I was left alone. So I grew up like that. So the easiest thing for me is to be alone. I have that wiring. And as a single, it was, it was a strength. Because you cannot make me feel bad. You cannot make me feel depressed. You cannot say something that will affect me. No. If I turn my face, it's turn. <laughs> and I got by with that for a long time. Huh? Then when I started following him, he said, that your strength is a weakness. Jesus Christ. I lived on that strength for long. I made gains with it. So I had to teach my wife how to pray. Teach her. The moment I put small effort, she began to grow in the Lord so fast. 
And sometimes my eyes will not see our own way. We see. I didn't know that a great ministry partner will come out of that effort. After a while, I started seeing the rhythm of what God wanted to achieve in my life. Then I knew. Ah! So if I didn't make up my mind to be obedient to God, all of these possibilities will be shut out. If you have not yet become deliberate about obedience and you have made what you call advancement, try to align and you will see that there's something greater than what you have achieved currently that God wants to accomplish through your life if you can be sensitive to him. Are you there? There is nothing that he cannot give you. Nothing. Nothing. 